It is a cold, snowy, windy day today. There's about an hour left of daylight and my vehicle won't start. I am a long ways down an old logging road, away from any main road where I might be able to flag somebody down and ask for help. I have no cell service, so it's looking like I'm going to be stuck out here for the night. Inside my vehicle I do carry a small survival kit to get me through any unplanned nights in the outdoors. Right now I'm in a very open area, I'm very exposed to the elements, so I'm going to hike down to the tree line and find a more protected spot where I can spend the night. I've hiked a little way into the forest here, come to this nice thick stand of spruce which is going to help cut down the wind, which is a huge advantage. First things first, I'm going to get my fire started. I'm opting to get my fire started first instead of setting up my shelter. The fire is going to provide me with warmth. It's going to give me the means to melt snow so I can have something to drink. And should something happen, if I get hurt, at least my fire is already going and I can feed it throughout the night to keep myself warm. Well, never fails. Fire makes everything better. At least now I know that I'll be able to stay warm. I still have a little bit of daylight left, so I'm gonna get busy setting my shelter up and getting ready for the night. The shelter that I've included is a tarp that has a reflective side, which is hopefully going to reflect the heat from my fire down on top of me while I sleep. The system is meant to go up very quickly so that I don't have to spend a whole lot of time setting up my shelter for the night. That went up really quick. I'm really happy with it. Hoping that this reflective side is gonna help radiate the heat down onto me while I sleep. I have a wool blanket for bedding. I don't have any type of a sleep mat or ground pad. So I'm gonna scrounge around for some materials to build up a little bed, keep me insulated from the ground. All in all though, shelter went up really quick, but daylight is fading fast. So gotta get busy on getting myself insulated from the ground. One thing that I always make sure to have in my vehicle at all times is some type of light 
preferably a headlamp. It's important to store the batteries outside of it separately so that they don't die over time. Now I'll be able to continue to work despite it getting dark out. I kind of lucked out not far from where I set up my camp. There's a down spruce tree that's still got green boughs on it. So I'm going to collect a whole bunch of these, lay them out for my bed. I was able to get a few good armloads of boughs off that tree. Some of them were a little more dry. I laid those ones on the ground first and then put the fresh green boughs on top. So I've got a good amount of loft and the mattress itself is good and comfy. So I should be able to stay plenty comfortable tonight. Got my wool blanket, it's folded in half. I'm gonna lay underneath of it like this. So I'm gonna have two layers of wool on top of me. Got my tarp keeping me sheltered from the snow and it's hopefully gonna reflect down a bunch of the heat from my fire. I'm gonna have a big, bright, long fire out front. So all in all, it should make for a pretty good night. Right now, I got to start thinking about getting some water in my system though. Included in my survival kit is a water bottle. Obviously it's empty. If I was to store liquid in it this time of the year, it would just freeze. But just having the empty water bottle is such a benefit around a camp like this. Now that my snow has melted and come to a boil, I can transfer it into my water bottle and begin cooking some supper inside my kettle. One thing that's often overlooked inside of survival kits or bug out bags is food. Food can be such a boost, both physically and mentally. I've got a little variety to choose from. I got a couple of rice packets. I've got some jerky. I got some noodles. And then I also have some coffee, some hot chocolate, some tea, obviously a cup and a spoon. Tonight, I think I'm gonna go with some rice and jerky. like a hot meal on a cold winter night. Mm. That's really good. <laughs> My water is just warm now. It should always be drank warm in the winter, especially in this kind of a situation. It's gonna help keep your body warm versus putting cold water into your system. thirsty. Oh man. Simple meal, but this is going to fill me right up, get me through till the morning, and just tastes great too.
Now that I have a full belly and some water in me, it's time to start thinking about getting some firewood for the night. One tool that makes cutting firewood a lot easier is a saw. This is my grandpa's old saw. An old folding saw in old Norland. Being able to use his old stuff is pretty cool. He's not with us anymore. The hatchet that I have with me is actually his too, so being able to use his old gear is pretty cool. It's almost like he's right here with me tonight. I've got another pot of snow melting by the fire. Now it's time to get busy cutting firewood. My little saw and hatchet did a fine job getting firewood. This area is really nice, there's lots of dead wood around so collecting it was real easy. I spent about an hour, maybe an hour and a half cutting wood, stacking it up here. I got a big pile, plenty enough to get me through the night, gonna be able to have a nice bright fire burning all night long. I think now it's time to stoke up the fire and relax a little before bed. That tastes so good. Heat from the fire feels great. Whew. Nice to have everything done. Just get to relax. Seems like the snow is starting to die down a bit. It's a real fine snow now. Wind is still whipping around like crazy though. The gusts are pretty scary. All these trees around me. It's my biggest fear of being out here is having a tree fall on me. And yeah, the wind certainly makes a guy uneasy. Oh man, tea helps though. <laughs> it's feeling good out here. Thought I'd give you a quick little look at everything that I have inside of this pack. The pack itself is just a small little pack. I've had it for probably six or seven years now. I don't know what brand it is or anything, but it's just a, I think they're called like a tactical backpack. This one's just a small size, which works pretty good for its purpose. A bunch of different pockets so you can sort everything accordingly, but just a nice little pack to carry everything. Cutting tools, we've already seen the hatchet, the saw. I also have a small belt knife inside of this kit. Haven't had to use the knife at all today though, but basically two tools for processing firewood and then a small finer cutting tool. I've got a few different sizes of small diameter rope and then the rope that I use for my ridge line and to string my tarp up, those stay in with the tarp itself. Got some toilet paper, a small first aid kit, just some bandages, gauze. I have a toothbrush and toothpaste in here, some thread, a needle, and then painkillers. I've got a ferrocerium rod along with my matchbooks for fire starting in case the matches get wet or if I run out, then I've got the ferro rod as a backup. My cook kit, if you want to call it that, small kettle, little tin cup, spoon, and a water bottle. My food you've already seen, but just non-perishables, and then some drinks to make as well, including coffee, tea, and hot chocolate. It's always nice to be able to see, so I've got my headlamp, along with extra batteries for it. Last but not least, for my shelter, I've got my tarp, and then for bedding, my wool blanket. A wool blanket, or any blanket for that matter, is pretty nice to have at hand. It's useful in a situation like this, but it comes in handy a lot more often than you might think. If you're hanging out with friends or family sitting around a campfire, sun goes down, someone gets a little chill, you can bring it out for them. Or if you're working on the ground, 
you can leave it folded up use it as a kneeling pad it's uh, a good little item to keep in your vehicle this kit that I put together for myself is pretty specific for my lifestyle spending so much time alone in the back country it's best to be prepared for situations like this I know not everyone's gonna need a full-blown wilderness survival kit but having a few comfort items at hand is a pretty good idea even if it's just something simple like a change of clothes maybe a book to read or some playing cards uh, some snacks just something to make a less than desirable situation just a little bit better it's like the saying goes it's better to be looking at it than looking for it good tea good tea I cut three larger diameter logs, a little bit shorter in length. I'm going to use these as a back wall for my fire. Those back logs will begin to burn throughout the night, creating a wall of fire that's going to radiate a lot of heat directly into my shelter. Right now, fire is burning hot. It feels real comfortable. The bed is good and comfy. I have my water bottle down by my feet filled with hot water so that should keep them warm throughout the night. My boots are just tucked behind me underneath the lean-to, keeping them out of the snow. The wind is still gusting pretty good right now and we do have a little bit of snow coming down still but I think it should be a rather comfortable night as long as a tree doesn't fall on me so fingers crossed. Well, good morning. It's shaping up to be a pretty good morning, actually. The weather has really improved. The snow has pretty much stopped, and the wind has really died down. Died down about halfway through the night. Still get the odd strong gust coming through the area, but for the most part, it's far better today than it was yesterday. I stayed so warm last night, it's not even funny. This fire put off so much heat. It was incredible. I only got up once throughout the night to shuffle the logs around, add more wood on top. After I did that, I laid back down and it was burning so hot I had to get back up and remove logs because it was just too hot. I couldn't even lay here. So, didn't even come close to getting cold last night despite the snow and the wind and the cold. The temperature right now, I don't have a thermometer with me. Forecast was calling for about minus 20 degrees Celsius weather overnight. And I don't know if it's quite there. It's probably between minus 15, minus 20, somewhere in there. But uh, yeah, despite the cold temperatures, didn't get cold. pretty pleased with my little vehicle survival kit or get through the night bag whatever you want to call it really can't complain uh, the only thing that I might add to it is a foam sleep pad in case I don't have access to spruce boughs or if the weather's really bad and I just need to throw up the tarp get underneath of it you know in the summertime if it's raining really hard or something and I don't want to be out 
gathering up bedding materials or if there's no dry materials available having a sleep pad will really complete the sleep system well there's really not much left for me to do I'm gonna finish up my hot chocolate and I can get busy breaking down camp take down my tarp get my wool blanket rolled up packed away get all my gear stored inside my pack and then hit the trail and get myself out of here i want to thank you for watching all glory to god i'll be back as soon as i can with another video until then god bless and happy trails